Hi Simmers! Welcome to my channel or welcome back. So, my Sims are having a party and yeah, space is not great but they seem to be having a good time. But today I wanted to talk about mods and how to install them because yeah, believe it or not, there's still people out there who haven't dared to try install a mod. And that's too bad because, well, the game can be a bit boring to look at without the mods for hair, clothing, furniture, and so on. So, while my sims are partying, we are going to talk about mods. First of all, you need one program. If you don't have WinZip, you can download 7-Zip or WinRAR for free. It's going to be nagging you, at least WinRAR, for buying it, but you can freely use it. It's going to do the same job as WinZip does for Windows 7. Go to either WinRAR, the site for downloading, or 7-Zip. Or, for Mac users, you use Keka. These are safe download sites, and I'll put a link in the description. This is how the download site looks like. And I've never used 7-Zip, so I used to have WinRAR on my system, but I don't anymore. I have WinZip. I'm just going to download it, just so you see how it looks. So, you will get this pop-up and you choose save. Now, it's an exe file, so you probably know what to do, right? You just right-click, open or double-click. I don't want to do that because I'm not going to install it on my system. Now, when you download a mod, Sometimes you'll get the files that looks like this. And they are very easy to handle. You just click them or double click depending on your setting. And the launcher will open and you install them from there. Very easy, very quick. The other kind is the one that's gonna require a bit more work. Not much, but a bit. You need to go into your documents and electronic arts and then of course Sims 3. In here you will see there's no folder named mods like I have. So you make a new folder and you give it the name mods. Now inside there you create two new folders. One you name overrides and one you name packages. Now there's another file in here as you can see it's called resource cfg and you'll find that one on this side. Just click download and now you can see in your download files you have this one that you need to unzip. Alright, so I just put it in a new folder just to show you. You open it by right-clicking and choosing Extract here. That's the absolute easiest way to do it. And you'll know exactly where everything ends. So the resource file you drag and drop into your mods folder. Just like I have had here. And now you're all set to go. If you want to make sure that your game is going to run mods, just choose a simple file and one that will show up or not show up <laughs> right away. Yeah, that's the Maxis logo and then you have the no intro. So if you want to get rid of both of them, 
unit download of the month. Just drag and drop them into a temporary folder for now and unzip. And then you drag and drop into your mods packages. Your uh, mods folder should always look like this. Every file you drop in here should end up in this one. Right, let's see how it looks when we start up with the two no intro mods. And there you have it. So, uh, yeah. Now you know it works. If you get into trouble with some of the mods, it's gonna be related to that mod and probably not something you did. If you follow these steps and it doesn't work, then check the mod and see if you've downloaded an old version because some of them, especially the ones that are for changing the gameplay, will need an update from time to time as they update the game. And sometimes two mods just aren't compatible. It's always wise to check some of the biggest sites for the latest mods because that's something I want to stress. Don't uncritically download from anywhere. Check the site, see what people have to say about, about the mods and try to stay on the biggest sites because sometimes mods can do a lot of damage to your game. So you don't want that. So the best thing to do is do a um, save of your games. Make sure everyone is working properly before installing a mod and then introduce a few at a time just to make sure. If you run into some problems it's easier to know which mod didn't work than if you drop a ton of mods in at the same time. Just, just some advice. Okay, if you have any questions about mods or anything else related to Sims 3, please feel free to leave a comment. Thanks for watching and happy simming! Bye! I should go. I should go. I should go. I should go.